Hi there, I'm Shelley, Seth is behind the camera. Hi. And we're going to show you today how we built this bed in our attic. This is where the actual areas of the bed where we're going to build into. We've got here a sloping roof. We've got two installation channels down here and one behind here. And we're going to build in this area. We've already installed this 19 millimeter chipboard with a piece of wood underneath. This here is going to be our framework for our headboard on the bed. We've put it level with this installation channel. For our bed frame construction, we're using a 19 millimeter three layered spruce board. Um, the size of our bed is 160 centimeters wide and the side panels are 204, 205 centimeters long. Our boards are 20 centimetre wide and they've all been painted white. On every board we've added a piece of wood just to give stability. We've attached these pieces of wood. This is just for us because we want to hire the bed so that we've got underneath the bed 30 centimetres so that we can then store suitcases under the bed. This is the bed hardware or the fittings for the bed. These join the sides together and we will show you exactly how we fitted these and how these work. This is the bed fitting. You need two parts and this is how they then join together. This part of the bed fittings is fixed with these screws and this part of the bed fitting is fixed with an ordinary screw. On one of the bedsides we've attached a piano hinge. This is so that we can have a flap on the side of the bed so that we can put the suitcases underneath. Here's our headboard for our bed. We made it ourselves. We've already made a film about how to make a headboard. You can take a look at that. I'll pop it up here and link it down below. The only thing we've done different is we added an extra row of buttons in here. And if you want to know how to make the buttons to match the color of your headboard, we've also got a film for that. Take a look at that as well. This is the leg for this corner. This is made out of the same material as what the bed frame is. It's uh, glued and uh, screwed together. And it just fits in the corner, just like this. And is then screwed into place. Here's the flap so we can put things underneath the bed. Here you can see the leg that we've just put in and just of here we're going to attach this piece of wood just of here and therefore we need another leg inside here.
And here where the flap is, we also have to attach another leg. This is a magnet, which we're going to attach here and here to the flap so that the flap stays in position. <laughs> 